Hey everybody, I am Bird Stalgic, and this is another episode of Dwarf Fortress Trade Ancient. Uh, so in our last episode, we kind of dealt with the uh, goblin cage conundrum, trying to figure out exactly what we wanted to do with all of these goblins that we captured during their attack on us when they wandered foolishly into the cages. Um, you know, my first idea was to set up a uh, stockpile area here, an animal stockpile, and release them here, but for some reason uh, I couldn't designate this as a stockpile, which was kind of strange. Uh, not really sure why, I'm sure it's something that I'm just missing. Uh, so basically what we've done is we've designated all of these goblins to be disarmed, and then what we'll do, we've got our um, militias stationed outside and we're just going to release the goblins one by one naked, and they will uh, eliminate the problem. So, they can take care of the so what we're going to do is we're just going to give the game a little bit of time to run while we do some other things, and then we'll come back and take care of business, I guess, so to say. So to say, um, hmm, we've still, we still got a bunch of stuff here to trade you, folks. Our large gems, we've got cloth and stuff that needs to be brought inside. Why we have uh, three stray water buffalo calves here? That's rather strange. And I know I messed with the pastures last time. Let's just go ahead and look. Well, what we'll do is we'll put uh, water buffalo calves in in this. Uh, so anywhere we see a water buffalo calf, we'll just assign it to here, even if it already says that it has. I don't see them. Hmm, strange. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm guessing that eventually our dwarves will uh, get that stuff moved in. So it looks like we did chop down some wood. That's excellent. We've got these chains going. That's good too because we're going to need that for our um, for our jails down here. So let's go ahead and set up those restraints by hitting a uh, little B here. And it looks like we have four already set up. We just need two more, and we're putting them in the middle of the room uh, because there is, once you assign the dwarf to a chain, uh, there, he can only move a certain radius, so you want to put it in the middle of the room so he can get to anything in the room, or she, uh, that they need to get to. Still waiting on some beds, all right. What's going on down here? I think we were digging deeper, weren't we? Just to see what we can see. Now that's new. These look like uh, black pyrope. Okay. But is this nice? Ghost, ghost. And some garnet. Okay. What we'll do is we'll just start uh, exploratory digging here. Since we already see some gems here. Uh, the nice, I think, is a, is a kind of stone. Kind of, yeah, kind of stone that we have not encountered yet, so it could be uh, signifying a new layer. So maybe we'll find some metal there. We've got an awful lot of idlers at this point, which is telling me we probably finished our smoothing job, and indeed we did. Okay. Once we get everything smoothed and engraved, uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna struggle to keep all these uh, guys busy, huh? might have to draft another military. That would probably take care of a good deal of it. Okay, let's get uh, some more gem cutting going on. You know, we have found some more as we've dug down. Okay. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt Probably wouldn't hurt to get another Mason's Workshop going at this point. Mason's, Mason's Workshop is in, and we'll just um, we'll just put it here. Well, 
I mean, like, the lazy me just says, put it there. But the uh, responsible me says, but wait, that's not on the right side. I don't think it really matters at this point. We're just kind of having fun. Kind of having fun, sort of just like waiting for a disaster to strike, I guess you could say at this point. Uh, we have, eight, what is it, 84? 91 dwarves total? 91, is that right? 48 plus 43 is 91. Um, so I wonder if we have enough Ooh. bedrooms. Um, okay, so apparently this craft store's workshop got cleared off for some reason, and it hasn't been making ammunition. Shame, shame. So we need to make some more wooden bolts and get it set up. So it looks like it already has that in there. I don't know how that got taken off. I might have done it. Uh, let's check the wooden pots. No, we don't want wooden pots. We want rock pots. Rock pots. Yes, yes. Now check this. 5 to 10. Seems fine. Okay. Uh, probably good enough now for us to... Oh, wait. <laughs> Actually, the thing that I was wanting to do was come down here to the Mason's Workshop and go ahead and set up. What we're going to do is we're just going to set up a mirror image of the jobs on the other Mason's Workshop. So tables, statues, coffers. And the idea being that uh, they'll kind of split... The, uh, they'll split the workload so that these things will get churned out a little bit faster. Which is good. Uh, we might go ahead and build another uh, carpenter's workshop. You know, that probably would have been what needed to go in the spot I just used, but oh well. Hindsight is uh, 2020, right? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, our military is up here. Well, most of them. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Alternatively, we could just make an animal pasture here and uh, designate one at a time to be here. That might be a more, uh, maybe a faster way to get this done. So it looks like there's a dead body here. Flying squirrel remains. Okay. All right. So animal stockpile. Uh, we need to go into the settings. So basically, uh, we need to block all and then find goblin. So we'll hit search, goblin, goblins. So we will, I don't know if it toggled it. Did it toggle it? It's hard to tell if it actually toggled it because uh, it's the only thing there. And whenever I back out of it, it, um, Maybe if I just search Geo. There we go. Now it's toggled. So they'll put goblins there. At least my dwarves aren't getting sick. We don't see a lot of uh, vomit up there. Of course, if, if they did, it would just look like the grass. So they could be getting sick.
I just want to get these guys out of here. I want to get them, get them away so that the people will stop freaking out as they are moving along. Through. This isn't really something I've normally had to deal with. Normally I just massacre all of the goblins outside of cages, but we just weren't set up for it. To do it. So I've got the wiki open. I'm just kind of looking at it. Goblin conundrum threatening to unravel our civilization apparently. hunting. What is that? Oh, a kawadi. Uh, now is probably when they'll release them from the cage when there's nobody around and the goblin will probably strangle somebody. Why you keep with his bare hands. something in a cage before I caught an Etten in one of my games and I did move it. Um They ran away again. Is there anything even in that cage? Wait a
after I learn this, I'm gonna get this. my garbage dump a little bit bigger. It could be that uh, the garbage dump itself is too small to do that. We could set up another uh, zone down here for garbage. We'll make the caravans go through it. That would be common. Maybe that was the problem. Maybe they couldn't do anything uh, because there just wasn't enough room to haul things around. Wow, look at all those guys hauling out garbage. Now what I could do is I could build a cage up here assign the, uh, one of the goblins to the cage, and I think that would fix the problem too. Cage. job pick up. Yeah, so he's making them right now. Once those bags get kicked out, we can, uh, we can go ahead and
showing my lack of knowledge here, I do apologize. But like, this is the kind of person I am. When I find something that I don't know, like I can't really let it go. I have to like figure it out, you know. So that I know how, because I know it's if it's coming up now, it's going to come up again. Okay, so there's nothing in this cage, so I guess we could let's let's try assigning one of those goblins. Let's see what happens. Let's so try to move that wild boar out. I guess we could assign it to a pasture. Okay, so there went the there went the goblin. He's in there now. Now what? Hit enter and it unassigns him. And they run off to attack that thing again. I don't even know what a quaddy is. What's a quaddy? Let's look it up. It's like a raccoon. Why are they attacking? Why is it a big deal? Okay, there's nothing in there now. I mean, he's gone. Did we, did we kill him? Or did he get away? <laughs> The miner's still missing. All right, well, maybe this time, now that our military's around, we'll get a better view of what's going on. So let's... I still don't understand this cage here. And it won't let me hit Q on it. Like this, this cage, I can hit Q and it lets me query it. So I don't, I'm not sure about the other one. It's some kind of weird glitch or something. Alright, we'll sign that goblin to him. Or to the gauge. Okay, he's in there. And now we will unassign it and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five that are deceased, right? So we're gonna, or if we find it, if another one shows up, whenever we do this, we know that they're actually just killing them super fast. God, we've got so many of them to do this too. Uh, okay. We probably have some bags now, so yep. We can process some of those quarry bushes. Which was some rock nuts plant. And let's go down here and set a new hotkey. Uh, it looks like we found pretty much nothing. That's a shame. That is a shame. So I'm not actually going to hotkey this layer because there's, just, there's nothing there. I mean, there could be further out, but let's get down to... thinking about what kind of stone that was. Stone is quartz on in there so we can stop the moss plague from uh, from happening. Just four. Okay, we can't 
full of the cage. We'll just use some chert. designate these as gel cells, you just click on it, and then you hit R to make it a room, and then what? Then hit enter, and then it's going to ask you, uh, you know, A, assign animal to chain, or J, used by justice, and so you want to hit J. And what that basically does is it tells the game that this is a gel cell. And that the uh, chain itself is where the dwarves are supposed to go if they break the wall. So if this, if we uh, unassign this and end up with five dead goblins, we know they're just basically killing him really, really fast. So okay, it looks like it's empty now. So if we go to the unit screen, dead missing, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're just killing them that fast. That's what's happening. Happen. Alright, so let's assign Goblin to the game. More blood for the blood dog. We darn it. Okay, Share in the workload, that's excellent. Probably gonna need to go ahead and designate some more trees for the job, I'm thinking. Uh, we're blowing through some wood. working on here is like clearing these trees out around here. I actually have some wood on the ground, but just to give me a little bit more vision around uh, around my fort. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Right. There we go. Kill, boys. Uh, probably time to add some more tables and chairs to this room. so much easier if we could have just smashed these guys with the bridge all at once. That was definitely my preference. Okay, I think we set our lock key.
seen any metal. I need to finish this up so that my I can let my uh, militias go so they don't have to be stationed. happening to them when I release them if they're getting thrown into another cage or what, but it's not working. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a cut in here and I'm going to do a little bit more research. And then when we come back, hopefully I will <laughs> know how to do this so that I can learn and I can teach you guys how to do it. Uh, thank you for joining me and until next time, game on.